prefer not to die in the nether. Yeah, you're not going to die in the nether. Mm-hmm. I promise you. You had to say that out loud, didn't you? <laughs> I promise you. Hello, Mr. Bowser. Hello, Chihuahua Power G. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm I'm okay. You are wearing a mix of armor. Yes, it's very attractive, isn't it? Oh yes, you, you're fashion forward. <laughs> so uh, why 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 are you wearing like a diamond helmet, unenchanted uh, uh, chest plate and pants and uh, enchanted boots? We call those old school. <laughs> okay. The unenchanted. <laughs> okay, so you're learning. Why? Uh, so why why are you wearing old school armor? Um, well, actually, all of this is new to me. Um, the other night I was gardening and it got late and I didn't realize it got late and I kind of forgot to eat too so I was attacked by a pack of angry uh, zombies and survived and then forgot to eat again while I was walking home and I was attacked by another gang of angry zombies and they won and I lost and then when I went back I couldn't find where they had attacked me and I couldn't find all my stuff so um, I'm putting together a new set of protective gear okay how are your tools my tools right now i have a diamond sword that has almost it's just got like the little red blip at the bottom yeah so i have another diamond sword in my pocket okay and then i have a diamond pickaxe which i am hoping to get the i can break glass and it doesn't die okay enchant on we call that silk touch okay And then I have a hoe that has a tiny bit, a hoe (laughs) that has a tiny bit of room left on it, and then another hoe in my pocket. And actually, if you come come over to my uh, my nightstand here, I have something to show you. I made a little mistake when I was uh, (laughs) making a shovel. (laughs) You shift clicked on the shovel. Okay. What do we do with extra shovels? Do we need 11 of them? You use them. <coughs> Just use them. Um, no, you, there's no way to uncraft something. You can't unshovel something? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, so h- h- what about your bow? Uh, it is purple and glowing. Let's see what enchant it has. Power 2, unbreaking 1. Okay. There's an infinity book for you. Thank you. And uh, what does that mean? So with an infinity, if you put an infinity chance on the bow, it won't uh, when you shoot it, it doesn't use up any arrows. So as long as you have one arrow in your pocket, you'll always be able to shoot. Um, Here's a mending book. Oh, that's pretty also. So mending. If you put it on a on a tool, weapon, or, or armor, when you gather experience, if it's in your hand or you're wearing it, the experience will go to repairing the item rather than into your experience bar. So does this work on multiple tools or just one? That works on one. Here's another mending book. Oh, boys. So I should put this on the new version of each of these tools since I have one that's ready to die, right? Um, yeah. Oops. And here's there's a, here's the Silk Touch book. Woohoo! And here's a Feather Falling Forward book. And what's Feather Falling Forward? It so Feather like Falling. Hand. So Feather Falling. If it, on boots, if you fall, it reduces the amount of damage you take. Okay. So what do I do with these books? Okay, so you what's what's your pickaxe situation? I have one that has barely any. Well, wait. I have one and it's almost completely full. It's got the full green bar. Okay. Any enchants? Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay. How many levels do you have? Twenty nine and <laughs> seven eighths. Okay, let's uh let's let's go downstairs to the spider spawner. Because I don't know that people have seen the latest iteration of the setup. Okay. And uh, and then we'll 
get you some XP so you can apply some stuff and then um, XP experience points. Oh. Sorry. That sounds almost as long as experience. You save XP. I mean, you save two syllables. It's sh significantly shorter than experience points. Oh, I thought XP was just short for ex experience. Um, I suppose it could be, but it's always been, in my mind, experience yeah. points. Okay, so hang on a second. We'll be back as soon as we get there. Okay, so here we are at the spider spawner, which I think we've seen, but I added some stuff. I added full enchanting setup, which is dark because we don't want to affect the spawner, um, but I hid some some lights in behind here with some half slabs, so you kind of see the light. I think it's a neat effect. But um, a little Ooh. chest here with some with some lapis and whatnot, and uh, bow making materials, enchanting table and an anvil. Uh, we have we have a ton of spider eyes, like more than I know what to do with. So and then uh, what we, does one do with spider eyes? Well, you can take spider eyes and mix it with uh, mushrooms and sugar, and make uh, fermented spider eyes. From <laughs> The same question. What does one do with fermented <laughs> spider eyes? Um, you use them in potions to to uh, corrupt the potion. So if you have a um, night vision potion and you put a you brew a fermented spider eye into it, it turns it into an invisibility potion, oh, yeah. which is pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, so here's here's what I think uh, our strategy should be. You should you should get up to thirty levels. Yep. So kill a couple of. You probably just need to kill three or four spiders. Do I right click or plain click this R thing? Right click. Look at that. Spiders. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to go over here and check on the output of the skeleton farm. Here, spider, spider. Woohoo. So we got arrows and bones here. We've been grabbing the bones, so we got a bunch upstairs. And we've been using the arrows instead of crafting them, which is kind of awesome. So you have, you said this, this sword that you're using is almost dead. Yep. And then you've got a full diamond sword. Correct. With no enchants on it. No enchants. No enchant on either. So. Okay. Do, is that, do you only use the anvil if you've got like an enchant that you want to save? Thank God I sound geeky saying that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. You're at level 30 now. Yay. So you stop. Why? Uh, because we can leave the spiders in there. You want him? No, no, no. We can leave the spiders in there. And whoops. Uh, the the cool thing is they're XP, but the thing is um, they can't get out. And uh, if you kill them after you spend some of your levels, they'll be worth more levels ah, okay. so these two spiders will probably get you one or two levels after if you use up all your xp Got it. oh and now i understand why you set up another enchanting station yeah so you don't have to run upstairs <laughs> <laughs> oh that makes so much more sense i was that like was, boy he was really bored no that was he getting his books it was getting really tedious okay, okay. so um no and, and these books i got out of a village but um these bookcases okay so <laughs> uh, let's enchant up some stuff, which yeah. is not super exciting. So we're going to, we'll do that. And when we get done, we'll, uh, we'll take a little trip. So, so how's your stuff now? Now I have a fancy diamond sword with, uh, enchants on it. Okay. Knockback one, sharpness two, mending. Okay. And my bow has power two, unbreaking one, and infinity. Woo! And my pickaxe. It is now called Glass Friend. It's got <laughs> efficiency one, silk touch, and mending. Okay. So when I make my glass things and I screw up and break the glass, it doesn't go away. Yeah, cool. Yippee. So those are those are decent, decent is that stuff. The correct. I'm excited. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The silk touch one is really good. You needed that. So, yeah. uh, so one thing I want to do is uh, I have I actually have four Ender pearls in my pocket, which is. Kind of surprising. Oh, by the way, I found slime over here. There was a giant slime hopping over here, and I killed him, and I got I got like thirteen slime balls. So oh, cool. that over there is probably a slime chunk. I will work on that later. Okay. But over here, we have what used to be a lava pool, 
And I don't remember how much obsidian we have upstairs, but let me show you a little trick. So if I, so this, this little, this little block right here. I'm standing away, yes. If I take that out and grab the block and put water in it, and then I can dig up this obsidian here. And if there were lava underneath, the water would obsidianize the lava before the, the obsidian I just dug fell that, into the lava. Is that a obsidianized? It is now. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is a way of collecting obsidian without losing any of it. It still takes a little bit, but what I want, uh, but like there, see, did you see that? No. Or are we too far away? Come a little bit closer. I don't it, it's okay. Lava. I promise. I pro it's okay. You can stand. That's all silver, by the way. Yeah. Lava. Getting lava. Yeah. So okay, you're totally safe right there. So if I dig out this block right here, see how there's lava underneath, and yep. then the water goes in and turns it I into. See the water going, but I don't get to see the flash of lava. Ah. It's okay. So I saw it. Um, so I now have five obsidian in my pocket. And this water will flow for a little distance. So this is like a safe way of collecting stuff near lava. Okay. I saw that one. Okay. Why are we getting this obsidian? Um, I will show you. Huh? I will show you when we go upstairs. Okay. All right. Hello. Oops. I uh, swapped hands. There we go. Uh, okay. It's nighttime. All right, so you've got you've got some stuff. Yep. We're almost ready. I want to do one thing before we we head over. This is something I've been wanting to do, and uh, haven't felt like we could afford it. But you're feeling rich. I'm feeling rich. Oh, where is it? Oh, that's all. That your stay out of that bottom one. That was mine. <laughs> do not touch the hay. Oh no, that was all sand. And hay. Oh, the middle one. Yeah. Bottom one is mine. Okay, so we are going to... Oh, I do have some obsidian. Okay, awesome. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a couple things. Okay. There is there is an Eye of Ender. Ooh. Oh, no, sorry. That is an Ender Pearl. Okay. Um, and then... This is a rod that I'm trying to pick up. There we go. And that's a blaze rod. Okay. We got those when we went into the nether. Yep. And the obsidian, which we just farmed. Go to the crafting table. Crafting table. Oh. Other table. Whatever. Yes. Okay. So put in the blaze rod. Where? Into the crafting table. I know. There's nine squares. Anywhere. Okay. And that'll give you blaze powder. Ooh. Okay. Okay. And then take out the blaze powder. Mm-hmm. And put in the crafting table your ender pearl and one of the blaze powders does it matter where mm, they have to be next to each other okay. no actually no it does not matter where eye of ender yeah so now take your eye of ender put it in the middle okay and surround it with obsidian Ender chests. Yes. Ender chests are freaking awesome. So I'm going to put one here. What What does it do? I'll show you. Okay, I just put one down next to our guest chest there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and open it. It's cool looking. So I just put, I just put an ender chest inside the ender chest. What do you see in the ender chest? Nothing. Yeah. So go ahead and put something in the ender chest. Oh, then I'm the only one that can see it. I'm going to put some blaze powder in here. Okay. So now it's like secret compartments for each of us. Yeah. Now go open this other ender chest that I just placed down. Oh, nice. So you can load up. There's the blaze powder. Yeah. But if I open it, I For see. For those who cannot see it, I see an ender chest. Oh no! So not only is it our own little compartments in here that we can only see, but then we can get at it from other places. Yes. Okay. So. Like the village. 
Yes. Is that what you're getting at? Yes. So I, I, when I broke that ender chest, and by the way, you have to break an ender chest with a silk touch pick, or you only get obsidian back. So you accidentally picked up the the ender chest that I broke. <laughs> so can you please give That's that to me? Thing. You want it back? Yes, There's two. please. Yeah, I'll take one. You should have one. Too late. How do I just take one? Um, you could just since there's two if you right click on it when you pick it up it'll only pick up half of it which would be one and you should be facing me when you do this oh boy. okay facing you inventory ender chest thank so what, you we keep one here and then one in our pocket for when we want to get stuff you can do that and that's when you go exploring that's not a bad thing to do because then you can put a selection of useful stuff in the ender chest. Like a bed. Like a bed. And then you can place down the ender chest and you always have it. So it expands your inventory essentially. But the cool thing is you can put one of these up by your little sculpture that you're working on. Mm -hmm. And then you can throw stuff in it here. Oh, and then it's there. I and then it's to... there. You don't have to carry it up. Or you can, put, you can put stuff in there have stuff in your pockets and then get up there and you have twice as much awesome. um mules are still useful but we ha we haven't up. I didn't know there were oh, we haven't found any yet so okay. all right it's daytime now i what have some slime today? we are good i'm i want to bring you over to the village and show you what i've got going on over there awesome is there any reason for me to have two bones in my pocket um you know what oh if we see a dog doesn't hurt Kay. okay so hang I on a bed what else do i need Nah. Um, you might go over to the uh, brewing area and get yourself some uh, a fire resistance potion or two because we're going into the nether uh, it's okay I promise you it will be fine I've died enough this week <laughs> okay just which chest um, the one to the left of the little brewing area that's all made potions, and I have a bunch so of... potion of water breathing, potion of regeneration, healing, strength, fire resistance. How many? Uh, take a couple of the fire resistance. Uh, the healing is kind of cool. There's splash potions, so you throw them on the ground, and then it, it like gives a little area of effect. And so if you and I are both in a place where we're, we're going to be in trouble, or we both need healing, we can throw that down and heal both of us. So bring one? Uh, if you want, but we don't. I prefer not to die in the nether. Yeah, you're not going to die in the nether. Mm -hmm. I promise you. You had to say that out loud, didn't you? <laughs> I promise you. You're lucky I'm not vindictive. Because I could prove you wrong. <laughs> Intentionally. You'd have to go out of your way to prove me wrong. I've died in the nether just by walking into the nether. I, yes. Or trying to walk out of the nether, I guess it was. But we improved. The situation in the nether has been improved. Yes. Okay, are we leaving? Um, just a moment. I need food. I'm running short on food. Uh, I'm going to take these pork chops. Okay, let's go. Into the nether. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Ah, really? Oh, up on the hill. Can I go kill him? I'm gonna go kill him. Whoa, why did that not work at all? Oh goodness. Um be careful, it's the His lag. His friends is... are catching on fire. His friends? Well there's two torches up here, I would think they're his friends. Oh those uh those are arrows that I shot at him. You sh shot fire arrows? Um, I have a flame enchant on my Holy bow. Holy Toledo. I have a pretty good bow. Okay, I guess so. Let's go. The nice thing Although about... you could do some serious damage if you miss. Um, fortunately, the flame enchant on a bow will not actually set things okay, on fire. Okay, what am I doing? Go into... Uh, come, in, come in here. Uh... It's okay, I promise you. It will be okay. Everything will be fine. Okay. Into the nether. I'm still here. I walked out the other side. 
Do I need to walk in, th walk around it, and walk through again? Yes. So or, I walk into it, and then things get woozy. Yeah, right? and then then stop, stop moving. And then when do I start again? When you when you show up in the nether. Woozy. There Black. you go. Now step out. Into the <laughs> into the fence. Ah. Yeah. There you go. It sucked me back in. Yeah. It, it, it'll do that a little bit. There you are. Okay. Okay. Come this way. Check uh, this out. It's okay. I promise where you. Where'd you go? Down the ladder. You know oh, where it is. Down the ladder. See, it's been a while. There you are. I see you. I do like the motion down the ladder. So generally, it's a good idea when you come into the nether to have a fire resist potion on your hot bar. Ah. Um, it's okay. Okay, hang on. Let me put the fire resist potion on my hot bar. Okay. And just like when you're digging underground, it's a good idea to have the uh, have like a water bucket on your hot bar. Do I? Should I have a water bucket right now too? No. Water doesn't do anything in the nether. So the cool thing is, if you happen to walk into, or get knocked into, or fall into the lava. I'm good at that, yes. You can <laughs> you can drink your fire resist potion, and then you can just swim out. And by drink, you mean right click it? Yes. That's why having it on the hot bar is a useful I thing. Like that. Okay. So I started building a little uh, area here that I will continue to, to improve, but uh, it's it's safe we're on top of the lava so you can't safe as long as it don't accidentally jump over. well you could jump up here and then jump yeah. into the lava but you Something don't think i could easily accidentally do, okay, <laughs> what are we doing? no you you don't want to do that though um and then uh but i want to enclose this in glass yeah. so so we can see out I but help you with the but glass. still be safe so yeah that's a project that uh, we can work on and uh, it'll be fun. And then I want to put slabs on the floor here so the pigmen can't spawn here. And then we'll make this enclosed. So we'll be completely safe inside the nether. I like that. Yeah. Cool. So now let's go into this portal and go to the village. 